Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Kate. I'm a luxury brand enthusiast, a fashion enthusiast, and a self-proclaimed professional shopper. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. In today's video, I thought I would talk about loafers. Um, someone had asked me if there was any loafers that I like or I would recommend. So I told them I'll do a video. So here is the video. I'm gonna go over some of the pairs that I have that I love, kind of just tell you what I like and if there's any dislikes with them. Okay, so the very first pair of loafers or loafer type shoes that I ever bought were the ones from Target. Uh, I thought this would be a good option because at the time, I think it was back in either 2016 or 2017 when uh, the Gucci first came out and everyone was loving those shoes. And Target, of course, came out with their version. So I thought before I spend a bunch of money on shoes that I'm not sure I'm gonna love or even wear, um, I would try the Target version. So these, I'm sure you guys have seen them around Target by now. It's been years since these have come out. <laughs> I don't even know the names of these. This was like the first the first year Target even produced them. Uh, so that was a long time ago. But if I could find them on Target, I will link it below. I'll put the link and stuff. I don't know the name. I couldn't tell you the names of these. But these were them. They are the backless ones. And everyone that knows me says that these shoes are hideous. They hate them. <laughs> but I thought I like them. And I like trying fashion that is different than what the population wears. You know, like back when I bought these, no one was wearing these. Backless, like no one was wearing these. Because, I mean, if you just take a quick glance, some people might say those look like grandma shoes. But, I mean... I like them, you know? So these are the very first pair from Target. They were just slip-ons. I do really like these. Um, the only thing with the backless ones is I prefer to wear all my shoes, like slip-ons and things. I prefer to wear them with socks. And I went over the socks that I like to wear in a few videos ago where I talked about my um, ballet flats. So I will also link those socks below. They were just ballerina footy socks. Um, if you wanna see that, I'll link the video up here somewhere. I'll have the link pop out where I talked about those socks. That way you guys can see those. And again, I'll link the socks down below. And so those are my first pair. And the second pair I bought, uh, I actually got the same year, were the, the fur version. Again, slip on, everyone hates these. But these were the also from Target. Um, I wanted to go cheap before I spent the money, you know, just to see if I like them. And so I bought the faux fur version um, from Target a few years ago. And I have to say, I do wear these during winter when it's cold out. Like if I'm just running out to pick up some dinner or something. Um, yeah, as you can see, the bottoms aren't too worn, so <laughs> I haven't worn them that often, but I do really like these loafers. They're just, they're out there, you know, they're, they're just, they're out there, but I like them because they're fuzzy, so they keep my feet warm during uh, winter, so this is another pair. Again, I'll try and link these below. These were from Target few years ago I think they still make them just slightly different but if I can find them I will link them below so the next two pairs of loafers that I'm gonna talk about are from Sam Edelman and if you've seen any of my previous shoe videos most of them I think except the flats video have spoken about Sam Edelman shoes I just really love that brand love his shoes I know anything I get from him is gonna be quality work and the shoes are gonna last me for forever. So to me, they're worth spending, you know, whatever the price is, um, cause I just, I love the quality of Sam Edelman. So let's get into these loafers. So these are the Sam Edelman Lior loafers. I got these from Nordstrom's. These do go on sale every now and then. I have seen them and if you oh my other shoe fell 
Um, so this is the saddle brown or saddle leather color. It is just a beautiful brown tannish kind of color. So this shoe is made of leather and then it does have a padded footbed here so it's comfortable. And back here, as you, oh, you can see kind of here and on this side, it does fold in. So I guess if you wanted to do that look where you, you know, fold that down and then just have your foot in there so it's like a slip on, you could. I don't do that with these shoes. I prefer to keep these shoes, you know, looking like the loafer itself. Most of the time I'm wearing these to work. So it just looks better if I'm actually wearing the shoe. So this again is the saddle leather color and once again I got these from Nordstrom's I think if you order this shoe from Sam Edelman's website like straight through them this detail looks slightly different um, that doesn't bother me I think these are great I love these shoes the leather is soft it's comfortable the padded footbed really helps me get through the day and I you know I'm able to walk quite a bit in these so I also have the Lior uh, Sam Edelman loafers in the black leather. This is what they look like. These ones are a little bit more worn. I'd say I've had these for maybe like six months now and I've worn them quite a bit. They still look brand new though. That's one thing, that's another thing I love about Sam Edelman shoes is they still look new after months of use. Here's the bottom of mine. I've done a lot of walking as you can tell, but um, one thing I really enjoy about these shoes is when you're walking, this might be like a weird like thing, but when I'm walking in these shoes, you can hear it. Like, I don't know, it's like a hard, hard sole. And I just, I love that sound. Like when I'm walking out, you know, through the office or I'm walking outside, like you can hear it. And it just sounds like, I don't know, like more business, you know, like, I mean, business, get out the way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it does sound more, um, I don't know. I just, I like the way that it sounds when these are, when I walk in these. Um, so these are the black leather and I love these. One thing about the Sam Edelman loafers, I get these in a size eight and a half and typically for shoes, I wear a size nine. Um, so if I'm wearing a pair of Vans or Nikes or Adidas or anything like that, I have to wear a size nine. But if I'm wearing heels or wedges, um, things like that, I have to get a size eight and a half. So with these, it was kind of interesting because I had to go for the smaller size um, than what I would typically get for shoes. And to me that worked out because leather stretches. On the brown pair, I really noticed how quickly these stretched out up here. You can kind of see a little bit more of like the folds right here where it my foot just naturally folds when I walk. So that stretched out maybe within the first use or two to you know form to my foot and how it just naturally bends so that's what I really liked about these shoes as well is it didn't take a long time to break in so that's really nice another feature I really love with these shoes is that there's extra stitching here that really just holds this piece in um, for me, sometimes when I sit, I end up sitting where I bend my foot, kind of like this, you know? You just kind of bend your foot up, um, and hence why that's creased just naturally when we walk and stuff. But I really like that that little detail is there because it holds the shoe more secure and you're gonna not have a problem of this, you know, tearing off and falling apart. So that's really cool to have. And overall, I just really, really enjoy Sam Edelman shoes. So when I saw these loafers, I knew I had to get them. And especially after wearing these ones, this is my first pair from him. Uh, especially after wearing these, I knew I had to get the black. And there's some other colors. They actually came out with some crocodile looking print for fall. I really like those. They're, they're different. They are different. I'll link a pair down below um, or I'll insert like some pictures or something, but those are really, really cool. So 
I'm tempted to get one of those to try because they just look cool. They're so different. They're so different. If you can get you some of these, get them. They're worth it. I've worn these tons of times. They're comfortable. I can wear them eight plus hours a day, no problem. I mean, it's just, they're really worth it. And again, with these shoes, I do wear the ballerina socks that I was mentioning. Those will be all linked down below for you guys to uh, click on and look at the ones that I prefer. And if you wanted to see the rundown, I'll link the video again up here just in case you fast forwarded. But yeah, so those are the loafers that I have. All right, guys. So if you have any loafers that you love to wear, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear about what you guys prefer um, brand wise for loafers. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any other requests, I can definitely try and do a video on them. I love doing videos and I love suggestions. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, all the info, everything's down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks.